Good morning. Today we are going to work on how to write equations. We're going to take some notes on it and we're going to give you some hints on how to use the words to create this um, equation. So first, the key words that you want to look for that tell you um, the operation of the symbol that you're supposed to use. For addition, you have sum, you have plus, you have total, you have increased by, and you have more than. Now I'm gonna put a little asterisk by here because when you do more than and a couple of other things, um, and you'll wanna figure out a place to type this, um, it means to put the second number first, which means in the, in the story that second number should come before, like if it says two more than seven, then you would put seven plus two. Okay, so when you hear subtraction, difference. Difference of minus or decreased by. Okay, for multiplication, it might be times, it might be product, multiplied by. Division would be quotient. Divided by. Divided into. And divided into needs to have those stars. That means that you're going to put it backwards as to how it's written in the word problem. Equal sign would be is or equal. Okay, so let's review writing some of these equation, equations using these. Two more than the product of a number and 10. So that one is, we've got two, we've got more than, we've got product, we've got and 10. So two more than the product of a number and 10. So the number is X. So the product of a number and 10. So a number and 10, the product of a number and 10 is 10 times X plus two. So two more, this is the two more part then the product of a number and 10. So that would be this part. All right, the next one we have half of the sum, sum of a number and six. So if I were doing the sum of a number and six, my number is x plus six, and I'm gonna take half of that. This is where it could get you tricky because that whole, this is the whole number. X plus six is the whole number. I need to take half of that, okay? Four less than the quotient of a number in two. So we're gonna struggle again. Four less than, that means minus four. The quotient means division. of a number and two. So number and two is an addition problem, x plus two. So four less than the quotient of a number and two. 
Oh, that's not an and two. That means the quotient of x and two. So it's divided by. So it's x divided by two is the quotient of a number and two minus four. All right, this next one, we have the sum of a number and 12, which is x plus 12. And then we have to add on seven times. So seven times, and I have to make that whole number, x plus two. I put it in parentheses because this is one thing. All right, these bottom ones are, you might wanna make sure that you can see your paper. Okay, so this one is the product of a number, of four and a number is 24. So product means times. So this part means four times x, and is means equals 24. So four x equals 24. The difference of a number and 12, that means the difference of a number and 12, that means x minus 12. And then we have, is four. So x minus 12 is four. Okay, let's make sure that we get this. 12 more than half of a number. So we do half of a number, one half x plus the 12 is three less than the number. So remember that this is backwards, so x minus three. Did we get it right? I might have written it backwards. 12 plus one half x equals x minus three. Yes, that is the same thing. So this one is 25 is four more than a number. And if you do not like having Whoops, that should be x. This, you could write it both ways. Four plus x equals 25. Both of those are right. Okay, the next one, 13 less than a number, x minus 13 is four more than a different number. So a different number I, means I need to choose a different variable, y plus four. So x minus 13 equals y plus four. All right, we're gonna continue to practice with some of these, but we're gonna use continue with word problems. I am not going to do them all. I'm going to do some of them and then you are going to do the rest and check your work. So you are buying the bottles of glue from Miss Perro's class. A bottle of glue is 74 cents. Write an equation relating to the total cost, C, to the number of glue bottles that you purchase. All right, so we want the variables to define the variables. C equals cost total, or total cost, and G equals number of glue bottles. Now, if you need to do some things, like if you need to do this first to figure out what you did, you can. Um, seven bottles of glue, in my head, I'm gonna do seven times the 74 cents. And then that triggers me to say, oh, okay, so this seven stands for the number of glue bottles and the cost is the total. So then I know that my equation is cost equals 74 cents times however many glue bottles I get but then I can solve it. C equals seven times 0.74, and you can go off to the side and, and do that math. Um, I have already done that. C equals $4.90. So number two, a data plan for your cell phone will cost you $29.99 per month. 
run an equation relating the cost to the number of months. Cost, total of months. I love that they ask you for the variable, but they already kind of define it for you. C equals cost, M equal number of months. Write the equation. Well, again, I might need to do that same thing that I did before and ask, what would I do? If I know that I have one month, well, I'm just going to, one month is $29.99. Two months is $29.99 times two. Three months is $29.99 times three. So if I want 12 months, the cost is going to be 12 times $29.99. So then that makes me think about cost equals 20, $29.99 times the number of months. And if you do your calculations with a calculator or on your desk or wherever you're working it, um, you would get your answer as $359.88. Number three. Some cell phone companies offer a cheaper data plan, but you have to pay a one-time sign-up fee. The sign-up fee is $375, and the cost is $25 per month. Write an equation relating the total cost to the number of months you have this data plan. To find your variable, so C equals cost. M equals number of months. This is when I need to start thinking again with that equation. So the difference between this one and number two is that I have one fee that I have to pay up front. So if I were just thinking, which I, it doesn't leave me enough room to do this on here, but I'm going to do it anywhere. My cost equals my sign up fee. I have to pay that no matter what, right? But then I have to pay... $25 for the first month, $25 for the second month, $25 for the third month. So this I'm noticing that $25 is going to be repeated addition, which means I'm multiplying. So my cost equals my fixed fee, which is $375 plus $25 for every month that I have to pay. So this fixed cost is not going to change, but how many months does change? There is a thing that that's called. This 375 is called a constant because that one doesn't change. But the one with the variable is called, oh, let me think of what it's called. The, it's not the coefficient. Okay, I'm blanking out. But the constant is the one that doesn't change. So to figure out if we have 12 months, I'm going to say cost equals 375, my fixed cost, my constant, plus $25 for 12 months. I am going to go off to the side and do 25 times 12, get a 10, bring down my 0, 5, 2, I'm hoping I'm right, it's 300, and so cost equals 375 plus 300. Remember, I had to do this first because of um, order of operations. So my total cost equals $675. Okay, now there's another situation here where we have a constant fee. Nope, it doesn't have a constant fee. This one is, it just based on how long you, how many songs you download. All right, so you can download songs for 99 cents each. Write an equation relating the total cost to the number of songs you download. Again, they want us to define the variable, even though they defined it in our word problem. C equals cost. S equals number of songs. Write the equation. So 
sometimes the equation, again, is hard to do. So I'm going to try to figure out what I would do down here. I would say um, 99 cents times the 50. That's how I'd figure it out. I bought 50 songs at 99 cents each. So that equals my cost. I'm kind of working backwards. So cost equals 99 times 50. So in my head, this is the number of songs. So if I need to go back and do my equation, cost equals 99 cents times the number of songs. So there's your answer there. Um, and this should be a times. So cost equals 0 this will be a 5 carry my 4 that is 45 49 so my answer would be 49 50 okay I've done your examples um, I want you guys to do the next page that's the part that I'm going to be looking at to see if you understand this method um, the answers will be posted on the answers page or the answers will be done in class as a review